Hello everybody, my name's Dangerous, and I am bringing you episode number 4 of my Road to Perfection for Gears of War 3. Basically, if you have not seen the other episodes, please go back and watch. I will put a link to the last episode, and that episode will have a link to the previous episode, so forth and so on, until you reach episode 1. But basically, all you need to know is... I'm supposed to have a friend next to me because I have not played Rust long, but he went off to go to sleep because he has work and, you know, I wanted to keep playing, so I just kept playing anyways. I end up actually getting up with a guy that has a mic, so I follow him for the first part of these games. I would like to note that in this game, I do end up losing two of my downs. And you know what, I feel that the community as a whole, you guys just freak out about kills stolen so much, but you're playing a competitive game, and if you're playing in ranked, it'll happen, it should happen, you know, you gotta guarantee that kill if you're right next to them and they take it, I understand you being upset about that, but you've gotta guarantee that kill in a competitive sense. So, I do not really care, as you can tell, I will be next to my kills, but you know what, it happens, and it's nothing to stress out about, because as soon as you start stressing, you play worse. Right here, no one went to the nade, so I get the flank, I end up clipping him with the first shot, and downing him with the second shot. And right here, as of episode 3, you guys should know, I have been playing in really tired, really late, so thought that was alive and he ends up not being alive right there with a full active to the just that close of a range I think 60 points probably should have been a kill but you know that's okay it happens as you can tell I was having connection problems in episode 3 with my shots but other than that all in all still ends up being a really good game Right here you see me helping my teammate in the 2 on 1 after he had downed one already. That is one kill stolen so far. I end up only getting another one here in a little bit. But you know what, it's okay. He said sorry and that's all that really counts. And that is the second one. That one's kind of my fault because he was already just revving the chainsaw. I should have let him get the kill, but I had not noticed it until I went back and rewatched this episode, so it happens, and you know what? I did not freak out about it, and I keep playing aggressive and everything like that. Right there, he had missed several shots, so I wanted to stay in cover for just a little bit until he stops firing, until I can get out of cover. As you can tell by all of my episodes so far, I am playing a very good team game basically. I am just putting shots on anything that my teammates are shooting and that's what you need to do to win these games in a competitive sense. That right there was a bot. Apparently one of their players did not like the rough map Rust Long so he ended up quitting out before the game even starts so these guys are already at a disadvantage and we just end up mowing over them because of that disadvantage probably and here we go with the flame grenades again I try to give them to this guy because he is the dude that I'm talking to but he does not want them, so you know what, whatever, <laughs> we get to see me miss a grenade toss once again. I end up do killing one person this time, so, so far I am one out of the ten grenades, but hey, we, I told you I'd get you a kill, and that's all it counts. Right here I feel I did not have enough time to get my pistol out, so I just ended up putting shotgun pumps into him and 
that ended up giving me the 52 damage points, so I obviously helped in something. And right here, I almost get wrecked by a bot, guys. But even though right there I had my kill stolen, I still do not steal that kill. That is very important for you guys to realize. One, I did not know who's down that was, and two, I did not really care because he was right next to it, so that's really what matters in my perspective. Right here, I feel that should have been a body shot. Should have been an easy down right there, but I end up getting out shotgunned. But he ends up getting sawed off in the back, so ultimately we win, and that's really what counts. Right here I should have just taken cover on the wall and went for a blind fire instead of positioning my body out there to his right hand advantage, seeing that he was that weak I probably would have downed him. But lesson learned, duly noted, and I will do that next time as long as I remember. And right here I am running for the revive while we have it down. Gotta get that extra 50 points. And as you can tell, that is the game. I did end up going positive once again, even though two kills were taken. That's what counts, guys. I only died three times. Not that two kills were taken. I would much rather be six and three than six and seven, so that's what counts. And if you guys have not seen the other episodes like previously stated, please go back and watch them. I will put the link up right after this. And you know rate and comment give me some form of a tip if you can subscribe if you want these videos will be coming just non-stop I promise you guys that as soon as I hit perfection I will be helping you guys out but I will see you in episode number five of my road to perfection